Go ahead. Four out of the five of the homes listed in the Armed Forces report were for profit. It was painfully clear that corporate profits are being put ahead of the well-beings of seniors. Will the minister admit that the for-profit model is failing our loved ones and commit to getting profits out of long-term care? The Honourable Minister. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And as the member opposite notes, nobody can read that report or hear those stories without feeling absolute horror and disgust and demand better for the elders in our lives. As I've mentioned many times in this House, our government remains committed to working with provinces and territories to ensure that every elder person in our community can age with dignity and in safety. And back to Ms. Kwan. Well, Minister, if that's the case, I'll ask again, will the minister make sure that the focus of long-term care homes is taking care of seniors and not taking care of owners' bank accounts? Well, Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. As the member will obviously know, uh, long-term care remains in the jurisdiction of provinces and territories, and there is legislation that rules them as such. But as the member also knows, we have stood by, Ontar uh, by Ontario and all of the other provinces and territories throughout and this back outbreak. To, uh, Ms. The Prime Kwan. Minister has been very clear. Ms. Kwan, is, the minister, is the minister refusing to answer the question because she agrees that profit should come before care? Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I think it's unfortunate that the member is trying to place words in my mouth. What I do agree with, uh, although, uh, is that long-term care needs to be uh, reformed, and I think all provinces and territories know, and, back and to all Ms. Canadians Kwan. know, that we have to do a better job. Well, it's simple for the minister. She can just answer the question. Is she willing to defend for-profit care for our seniors? Is she in favour of for-profit private health care too? Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. What I'm willing to defend is the right for all Canadians to age with safety and dignity. Yeah, yeah. Ms. Kwan. Well, to the Minister, what is the difference? Why sell out the care of our seniors? Will she commit that she will take profit out of long-term care? The Honourable Minister. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I think the member opposite knows that the only way to actually reform long-term care is to work with provinces and territories, in fact all levels of government, to ensure that the people that spent their lives caring and nurturing for us can end their lives with caring and nurturing. Uh, and back their, to Ms. Kwan. I think the minister knows what we need is national standards for seniors. The Rivera long-term care homes are owned by the public sector pension plan. Since the government owns these homes, have the military been sent in there to see what's happening to seniors under their care? The Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker, we know that it is important to work with all of the provinces and territories under which jurisdiction falls to protect the seniors within those care homes. That's what we've been doing since the beginning of the outbreak of coronavirus. That's what we'll continue to do to protect the lives of seniors and strengthen their protections. And we will, as I said, Mr. Speaker, work with the provinces and territories to have a longer-term plan so that all seniors can age with dignity and safety. And back to Ms. Kwan. The government has a clear responsibility here. What is the government doing to ensure the standards, standards of care in these Rivera homes that they owned? Well, Minister. Mr. Speaker, as I've uh, repeatedly said, the jurisdiction for care of long-term care homes falls within the provincial and territorial uh, realm. However, having said that, Mr. Speaker, we have been there for provinces and territories since the outbreak of coronavirus. And as the member opposite has clearly or likely heard the Prime Minister say, we will stand with provinces and territories and so back all to elders Ms. have Kwan. the right to age with dignity. Well, I didn't hear an answer, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker. So the answer is nothing then. Do you think that the families of the seniors in these homes want to hear those excuses, jurisdictional issues? Does the minister not think that the families want to hear that the federal government is doing all they can to care for their parents? Members to uh, direct their uh, questions through the chair, the honorable minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And quite frankly, I don't think that families care which level of government is responsible for caring for their elders. I think what they care about is that their elders are cared for. And that's, in fact, what the Prime Minister believes. That's, in fact, what our government believes. And that's why we've willingly stepped up to say to provinces and territories, we will be there with you to make sure that all seniors in our lives have the right to age with dignity.